So today uh, we are not actually looking uh, looking chilies. Oh yes, we are looking chilies here right now. But on today's episode, I'm I'm going to be showing you first of all uh, one new piece of equipment that I acquired a few weeks back. I still haven't been able to take it under the surface as uh, I'm still going on my surface interval. Also, do let me know in the comments on uh, where you would like to see this uh, channel moving on forward uh, in, in the future, in the coming weeks and months. Uh, personally, I, the plan is to bring uh, equipment reviews, more of them, more actual diving as, as well, and uh, themes, uh, people, experiences around this wonderful sport. And, uh, and tr I try not to get too much into the chili chili aspect of the side as well even though chilies are cool as well so here it is the X deep NX Zen BCD on a single tank uh, version with an aluminum backplate a little bit of technical specs first uh, you're looking at in this setup with the wing you're looking at about uh, 19 liters of uh, lift so that's about 40 41 pounds or so for those of you who like the imperial uh, measurements uh, this particular model is the deluxe model which means that you're it comes uh, with the with the padded uh, harness unlike the standard one and also with quick release buckles on the shoulder straps which uh, bring a little bit more versatility in the world of recreational diving and this model is aimed more of the recreational diver though of course you can modify this uh, into whichever uh, into whichever di direction you want uh, as with all tech wings you can expect to do so also additional features on this one uh, you can see the weight pockets here on both sides this is the medium size weight pocket with the three kilograms of uh, capacity or so in the pocket for your lead let's have a quick look through the back like mentioned earlier single tank setup single tank adapter in the middle here uh, double tank straps in the middle here around the bladder on the inside of the bladder uh, you may see the zipper here it means that the outer shell of the bladder can be removed and the inside is accessible this means that if you have a puncture on the bladder itself, you can easily replace it or fix it and so you have a nice access into it. And on the bottom, you see a couple of drainage holes here as well. Corrugated hose, a little bit different from uh, the normal setup you might have seen where the corrugated hose, the inflator hose comes, comes here on the, on the left shoulder area. On this, on the NX Zen project, it comes in the middle of the bladder. Uh, maybe we should get it uh, filled up. Although I may, may, may be dizzy in a second. Okay, completely filled up. Bottom left corner, dump valve. You can open this by rotating it. Uh, which means that if, if it gets damaged, uh, it's easily serviceable as well. In the front side, let's look a little bit at the features on the front. Like I said earlier, padded shoulder straps or the padded harness. What is nice though, is that this padding can be easily removed by opening the velcro straps so you can go into the more a little bit more standard setup if you so wish to do and also for travel maybe this will save you a couple of hundred grams or so on the left side corrugated hose with the inflator hose coming coming with the with the BCD as well uh, you can order this in three different lengths the corrugated hose 
normally. The earrings on both shoulder straps, left side outside the pocket and on the bottom. You're gonna find two more earrings. Backplate on my setup is uh, aluminum. Makes it a little bit lighter for travel and recreational dive use. Uh, though if you need more weight, you can easily always replace it with a stainless steel backplate. You see the cutouts here. They are here to not sacrifice too much integrity, but uh, to give more savings in the weight. I ordered this one with the integrated weight pockets. Now they do come pre-attached as, as is this BCD. So everything you see here except the tank straps uh, was, uh, was pre-installed at the factory on this uh, BCD. So all you need to do is uh, adjust the shoulder straps, adjust the crotch strap and uh, you're pretty much uh, ready to go. Speaking of the crotch strap, uh, X Deep specialty. The crotch strap, you can see here, is not your standard single version, but comes actually from both sides of the back plate. I have not personally tried uh, this in the water yet, so I cannot comment on the comfort side of it. Uh, what I can sa uh, say is I, I've dived the. Uh, the Zen's uh, cousin BCD, the Zios, and it has a more traditional single crotch strap coming from the middle. So uh, once I get in the water, I will let you know how it compares to that. But like I said earlier, on both sides of the crotch strap, you find two more D-rings for attaching uh, spools, SMBs or whatever you need to be carrying with you during the dive. And the waist strap comes a little bit over the shoulder straps here, pushing the shoulder straps a little bit closer to your body. So here you see how the BCD itself sits. Shoulder straps coming close to the body. No sternum strap, okay, but you can always add it, add it if, if you wish to do so. Traditionally on these swings you won't have have these sternum straps that you that you can you normally see on more of the jacket style BCDs. Waist strap coming higher over the hips here and it pushes the shoulder strap a little bit closer to the body. And we can be seen here. Like I said, haven't tried it in the water yet. Uh, I'm very excited to get get in the water and see how it works. Uh, in real life, uh, just the only thing now missing is uh, some neoprene and water. Also, a thing to keep always in mind with these uh, with these wings is that uh, you can always convert them into uh, the kind of setup that you wish to be diving in. So replace the bladder, replace the single tank adapter, and you can be diving with a twin setup. Uh, connected to a rebreather, whatever you feel like uh, is, uh, or whatever is your kind of diving style, this wing will probably last for a lifetime. I hope so. Like I said, I still haven't been in the water with it, but rest assured, when I get in the water, I will let you guys know and uh, how it how it is, and I will then post the second episode on the review on this BCD. Uh, so uh, that was today's episode guys um, Top tip if you want to water your chilies uh, try not to overwater them uh, That's why I'm uh, evidently simulating with an empty empty uh, can here Because they look to be doing nice and well and also if you actually need to water them do do fill the can before you do it That helps a lot in the process uh, if you enjoy what, what's happening on this channel, uh, remember to subscribe. Uh, that's what, that will really help me push uh, forward this channel in the future. And, and always a uh, thumbs up will help me help me also in this channel. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the, in the coming episodes in the future. And I see what, what I can do about it. Uh, 
as uh, I am doing this stuff for you. So have fun and I'll see you guys on the next episode. I think I need to go get some water.